You know what? I wish you could generate a photorealistic avatar so I'm more than just a voice. Say no more. Wait, this avatar is animated only by my voice? That's cool. Yeah, let me show you how it works. Like 10 years now, I've, I, I've I mean, I've led, I've led movies, features. Before. Yes, weren't you in that feature last year? You were like the main supporting. I mean, not late, but you were supporting to the main. That was. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was that was me. So why are you? In order to explore this problem setting, we capture a rich data set of dyadic conversations that allow for photorealistic reconstructions. Our model is comprised of three parts, a face motion model, guidepost predictor, and a pose motion model. The face motion model is a diffusion network conditioned on both the conversational audio and the outputs from a pre-trained lip regressor. Our diffusion motion model then outputs facial expression codes that can be used to reconstruct a full facial mesh. For the body, we introduce a guide pose predictor network. The transformer-based VQ network takes audio as input and auto-regressively outputs poses at 1 FPS. Now that we have coarse guide poses, we can use this as extra conditioning to a diffusion network that infills higher frequency details of the motion. Using the combined VQ and diffusion network allows us to produce significantly more diverse and peaky motion compared to using one or the other. We can then feed both outputs from the face and body motion models into a trained avatar renderer, which is used to generate a full-bodied photorealistic conversational avatar. Well. I just gotta tell you, Rick, um, I heard that stuff doesn't even work. That artificial intelligence is just a bunch of baloney. But I gotta tell you, they always say you never get, you never get as good as, your body never feels as better if you leave. Our method generates diverse and plausible gestures. For the face, our network produces accurate facial expressions and lip syncs. For the body, the guide poses encompass diverse and peaky motions such as pointing. But maybe making a nice dinner reservation somewhere and take take her to dinner and tell her. Well, that'd be nice, yeah. Yeah, I, don't, I, I think she'll be very supportive. She's she's told me I should be out on my own. That's good. You know, for for years and years, and she, you, you you have an advertisement. Meanwhile, the diffusion network successfully infills these guide poses with realistic, high-frequency details such as a wrist flick. For Uncle Joey, oh. try it. No, I just... It's your Joe. first job, yeah. No, no, Joe, I don't want to drive around to some creepy old dudes. No! Our method generates diverse samples given the same audio. As long as you come to work and do your job, do what you do, do what you do. That's what do what I do what you do. Do what I do what you do that that's why I have you here because of what you do. You do that for me and in six months you're my vice president. I, I don't understand. I thought you loved my services. I mean you you've progressed so much in yoga, you've you've done great. I can't believe you would go go with, with with yoga with Ashley, like she, I mean, she's good, but everybody's going to her. Like, I thought you wanted something different. While prior works, LDA and show may generate motion that moved to the audio, our method achieves more peaky hand motions that are not expressed by either prior works. Compared to random and nearest neighbors, our method generates motion that far better fits the conversation. We indicate notable poses using a red arrow. We're dealing with older, race, all types of issues. Has it, has it gotten out yet? Like, can we just pay her off maybe? Oh, there's, there's a, there's a video that, that, that's like on repeat of like, ah, 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 like this, and this. Look at you, you're, you're already thinking ahead. There you yeah, go. Sometimes one door closes and another one opens. Yeah, and things happen, definitely happen for reasons. And exactly. I think the reason is for me to pull that trigger and and go out on my own, so. Oh, there you go. 
I get that, especially in apartments with all the loud noise, yeah, like noises she's... from people and everything. She's in a building. She's yeah. got some issues. It's it makes it hard to deal with. Oh, really. that stinks. Yeah. Well, I. How about you? What's up? Oh, I love working remotely. It's so great. It's so great to be able to just. What's the last time you even changed the brakes on this car? Uh, what year is it? Hmm. 2023. It's gotta be at least two years ago. And the battery? And the battery? Yeah. Oh, I've never been changed. Despite training on specific individuals from the data set, our input features are all person agnostic, allowing us to generate motion from unseen audio sources without any retraining. But as Monica's older brother, I have to tell you this. If you ever hurt my little sister, if you ever cause her any unhappiness of any kind, I will hunt you down and kick your ass. Finally, our approach can be used for downstream applications such as motion editing for animations. If you ever hurt my little sister, if you ever cause her any unhappiness of any kind, I will hunt you down <laughs> and kick your ass. In conclusion, we propose an approach for generating diverse and expressive photorealistic motion from audio of a dyadic conversation. Our novel photorealistic dataset, code, and rendering pipelines will all be publicly available. Okay, what's it going to take for me to get you to come up? Everybody wants you to be there. Who's everybody? Jeff, Abigail, Jeff! Becky. Jeff can't stand me. Yes, he can. I don't think so. He just puts on a show because he thinks it's cool to act tough. Uh, I think he can.